Hi, it's Iftah, and I've just released an update for Fluff's Accessible Loudness Meter. Version 1.1 adds the ability to analyze audio clips in Ableton and also an accessible phase scope for monitoring the stereo field. To perform offline analysis on audio clips using the UI, simply select a clip in session or arrangement mode and then click the clip button. To do this using keyboard shortcuts, first make sure that they are active by pressing Ctrl, Shift and V, navigate to the desired audio clip and press Shift plus 8. The phase scope shows how the left and the right channels interact, whether the mix is wide, narrow or a bit off and if it folds nicely to mono. If using a screen reader, turn on narration and keyboard control using Ctrl, Shift and V and then press Shift plus 6 to get the current reading and spot any potential issues. If using the UI, open Fluff's main window and click the scope icon in the top left corner. Zoom will zoom in and out on the reading and the display shape will toggle between linear and logarithmic representation. Most of the time, linear is easier to read, but in some special cases like checking reverb tails, logarithmic display can be more useful and reveal more detail. It is possible to set a filter and focus on bass, low mids, mids or highs before the reading. This helps isolate different parts of the mix and makes it easier to detect issues in specific frequency ranges. Fluffs uses linear phase filters, so the stereo image representation stays accurate and nothing gets shifted. To switch between filter types with a screen reader, press Shift plus 7. Like all my other devices, Fluffs is available as a free or paid download. Both versions are identical. It's simply a way to make sure that everyone can access it, regardless of their ability to support my work.